What is up FBG fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So for today's video, I wanted to go ahead and address something that I saw in the comment section of my last video quite a few times and I did comment back to those individuals so hopefully that comment helped but I wanted to elaborate a little bit further and go a little more in depth and in, in detail and kind of explain a little bit more my opinion and my two cents on the matter. So this is really just in reference to when it comes to the Raiden Shogun, if you're going for her, if you should go for C1 or if you should go for her applicable weapon. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this a little more in depth is because it's very reminiscent of a recent character that we had. Well, I shouldn't say recent. It's actually been quite some time. But the most recent memory of debating this was with Hu Tao, if I'm not mistaken, at least for me anyways, because when Hu Tao was getting ready to release, a lot of people were asking whether they should go for her C1 or if they should go for the applicable weapon, which was the Staff of Homa. Now people are asking the same thing with the Raiden Shogun. And the reason being is for both Hu Tao and the Raiden Shogun, the C1 are both very strong constellations for both of them, but also the applicable, or I should say best in slot weapon is looking to be very strong or utterly broken to be on that said character. Now, if you don't remember, or if you just need a refresher, uh, C1 on Hu Tao, basically when you activated her elemental skill, Hu Tao's charge attacks do not consume stamina. Now, that's a very strong constellation to have on Hu Tao. Not broken, but very strong because it switches up the way you play Hu Tao in the sense that you can just spam her charge attacks and be able to do massive amount of damage. It's a very good constellation for Hu Tao. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about the Raiden Shogun's Constellation or C1 because I'm waiting for the official release. You guys know this if you've seen my recent videos. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but it's a, it's a strong C1 that is going to uh, allow her to hit harder with some caveats to it, though. And once again, unfortunately, I can't go into the caveats about it or the, the niche-ness of it. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know, but it's... It's still a, it's still a strong it's still a strong constellation it's still a strong C1, but the applicable weapons associated with these characters um, is something that's irreplaceable. And, and what I mean by that is, for example, the Staff of Homa on Hu Tao. There's just no other polearm that is going to be able to replace the Staff of Homa on Hu Tao. It's, it's just that good. Now, the best in slot or applicable weapon, signature weapon that's going to be coming with the Raiden Shogun, I, I have to say just on paper from what I can see, and once again, I stand to be corrected. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but it's, it is in my opinion, it's just like the Staff of Homa. It's irreplaceable. You, you cannot find a weapon that is going to be able to provide the Raiden Shogun what her signature weapon is going to be able to apply, which instantly makes that super valuable. And I think that it's along the same lines as the Staff of Homa. Whereas if you're looking to, if you're, if you're deciding between what's going to make the Raiden Shogun the best, it's going to be the weapon. It's going to be the signature weapon that's going to be coming alongside her. Now, the thing is, is like with any weapon, if you're going for any weapon, any weapon banner, you just have to keep in mind that it's not guaranteed and you have the opportunity to get absolutely shafted and you have to be okay with the second weapon that's on there because most likely you're going to pull that quite often. If you're okay with those stipulations, then you should try and obtain the weapon if you have the means to. That is just how good the weapon, the signature weapon for the Raiden Shogun is. It's one of those that it's just, it's irreplaceable. It, it really is. Now, there are some good alternatives. Don't get me wrong. There are some very good alternatives. The Skyward Spine comes to mind. Um, some other four-star weapons you can get. go ahead and throw on her that has the subset of the energy recharge, which is what you're going to want to have. Those are good alternatives. I'm not saying that there aren't. But what I'm saying is, if you're deciding between C1 and the weapon, and you're asking me which is better, the weapon is the way to go. It simply is, because it's just going to allow the Raiden Shogun to operate in the manner that you want her to, in terms of damage output and maxing out her potential when it comes to that. 
the weapon is going to be able to optimize that for you c1 is absolutely fantastic on her it really is but like i mentioned there, there's some nicheness to it i'm sticking with that word i am i'm going i'm riding with it <laughs> i'm going with it and there, there's some caveats to it uh once again i'm not going to go into details you can go ahead and check that out for yourself um honey hunter world is, is kind of wonky right now um i don't know if they're going through some updates or or what's going on so i don't know if i would uh, refer you to them right now i would just say join the discord a link in the description down below to get you know the the information that you're looking for in terms of uh the constellations on the raiden shogun and for the weapon as well you can just join the discord but yeah that that's that's just my opinion um the weapon is going to be better than the c1 um that I, I think it's just pretty factual. Uh, but the other thing I did want to go ahead and mention as well, if, if you're free to play, because uh, like I mentioned, you have to be okay with getting shafted and if you have the means to, but if you are free to play, that's a different story. Because if you're free to play, you may just want to go ahead and obtain the Raiden Shogun and then maybe just save for some future characters to come down the line, like Kokomi or, or some other characters that you might be interested in the future, and you may, maybe slap a, a nice 4-star weapon on her, or another 5-star, like for example, if you have the Skyward Spine just lying around, there's some good alternatives that you can go ahead and place on her, and it'll be perfectly fine. But the, the topic of the video, whether it's C1 or the weapon, it's definitely the weapon. And, and it's, it goes the same for like Hu Tao. When people were asking me C1 or... Uh, staff of Homa, it, it was the Staff of Homa. But that's if you're you're debating between the two and you have the means to go for either one. Um, but if you're free to play, I say grab yourself a Raiden Shogun and get on out of there. Don't worry about the weapon. Just save for future characters. Um, put, a, put a nice 4-star alternative weapon. There might be a, a new one that's coming down the line that's pretty applicable for the Raiden Shogun that you can go ahead and place as a good alternative. Or like I mentioned, if you have a Skyward Spine lying around, or even like a Primordial Jade, whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and slap down on her, and she's going to perform still very, very well. Now, I know other people were talking about um, if you have the means to go for C2, because if you missed my last video, um, apparently the Raiden Shogun's constellations uh, have got flip-flopped between C2 and C4, so C4 going to C2 and C2 going to C4. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Once again, not going into detail, but that allows her to be more DPS oriented to be able to allow her to do some more damage. Um, and, and if you have the means to go to C2 or the weapon, <laughs> I mean, that's that's definitely going into a whole nother territory and it, it's definitely interesting. Um, I mean, even still, guys, even still, I would say the weapon, man. It, it's just the weapon is so freaking good. It's, it's just, it's, it's too damn good. It's too damn good. And you guys know I don't really curse that much. If you've been to my stream, you know I don't do that. But if I do, you know it's something uh it's it's something special <laughs> and it's and it's for a reason. Um Yeah, it, it's it's just hard to go against it. It's hard to go against it. But I want to get your guys' take down in the comments below. I, I want to get your guys' opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think you guys have been doing an absolutely fantastic job the last couple of videos just commenting Let me know what you guys think about also This video that you're seeing of this gameplay is from my twitch where that's where I'll be streaming Genshin Impact um, If you want to go ahead and follow it's always a fantastic time over there. We have such a good time It's always nutty in the twitch chat um, and that's twitch.tv slash further beyond gaming You can go ahead and check me out over there Monday Wednesdays and Fridays 9 a.m. To 9 30 a.m. Like around that time Eastern Standard Time. I don't know why I just threw that plug in there I just did it. I felt it. <laughs> I absolutely felt it and I went with it um but anyways, guys, that is the video today. Uh, hopefully that helps to allow you to make a better decision. So, for example, if you're able to go for either or, I say the weapon, if you're free to play, like strictly free to play, grab yourself a Raiden Shogun and get on out of there. If you have, like, if you've been saving for quite some time as a free to play and you've been saving for the Raiden Shogun, um, then get a Raiden Shogun maybe try like go go to the to the pity on the weapon banner and see if you get lucky um if not go for the c1 it, it's really up to you guys at the end of the day it's up to you it's your account you play the game how you want to you spend your primos how you want to i can only just try and, and give my advice and my two cents anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie cody gt and i'm out bye guys